how did we end up in this hellish place? Sarah and I were just looking for a weekend getaway, a break from the stress of our daily lives. We found this hotel online. It seemed like a decent place. A bit old-fashioned, but charming in its own way. We never expected it to be like this. After we checked in, we went up to our room. Everything seemed fine at first. We unpacked, talked about what we wanted to do during our stay, but then... We heard strange noises coming from the hallway. It sounded like someone or something was out there. I went to check it out, leaving Sarah in the room, and that's when it all went wrong. The next thing I knew, I woke up in this cell. I have no idea how I got here or how long I've been trapped. And Sarah, she's missing. I don't know where she is, but I have to find her. These walls have eyes. <laughs> Sorry. I gotta get out of this place. You could say that again. with these cuffs. Those are probably for you, baby. It's been way too long. Jesus. There's blood in the sink. Is it... Who raised you? Who raised you to just stick your hands in toilets? There's a plunger. A device consisting of a rubber cup on a long handle used to clear blocked pipes by means of water pressure. Ah yes, a plunger. The love of my life. Feels like somebody's watching me. Yes, we unclog toilets with plungers, not our hands. The rusty chisel is a durable and rugged tool designed for chipping away at hard surfaces. This chisel is made with a wooden handle for a comfortable grip and a rusted metal head for maximum strength. The rust on the metal gives it a vintage look and it gives the chisel a certain character. sound the constant drip of water echoing through the halls. The walls are made of stone and the door is thick and heavy, locked with a key that's just always out of reach. But I will not give up hope. I will not let this cell be my tomb. I have nothing but time and I will use it to my advantage. I will craft a tool, a weapon to aid in my escape. With nothing but a small piece of metal and my own determination, I begin to fashion a crude tool. Day after day, I work tirelessly, honing and shaping it until it becomes sharp and strong. I will use this tool to pick the lock, to break the chains that bind me. But as the days pass, I cannot shake the feeling of being watched. 
I can hear whispers in the darkness, a sinister laughter that seems to come from the very walls themselves. I fear that I am not alone in the cell, that there is something far more sinister lurking in the shadows. But I will not let fear defeat me. I will use this tool and escape this prison, no matter what horrors I may face. I will not rest until I am free. A note left by someone who tried to escape. Oh, hello. The weird tool is a versatile and unique tool that features a sharp pointed tip for precision cutting and piercing. Its unique design allows it to easily open and access small tight spaces such as holes and bolts that may be rigged or difficult to access with, tra with traditional tools. This will do the trick. Okay. So... So, let's use that. Make sure there's nothing over here we can see. So, find a way out. Ten people, all missing from this hotel. What happened to them? An old weathered newspaper from a tragic era features a somber headline. A somber headline reading, Victims of the Cecil. I want to see how they disappeared. So, Emily Thompson disappeared after checking into a secluded hotel deep in the woods. Michael James found dead in his hotel room with a strange symbol carved into the wall. Ashley Rodriguez was murdered in her hotel room by an unseen entity with no signs of forced entry. Jessica Brown vanished from her hotel room with only blood stains left behind. Ryan Walker died in a mysterious fire that broke out in his hotel room. Samantha Davis was suffocated in her sleep with no explanation for how the attacker entered the locked room. David Adams was attacked by a monster that appeared from the shadows in his hotel room. Lauren Baker was strangled to death by an unknown assailant in her hotel room with the door still locked from the inside. Brian Clark was found dead in the hotel basement with no explanation for his death, and Katie Lee was dragged out of her hotel room by a mysterious force never to be seen again. Alright, so we added that to our inventory. This postcard was completed but never sent. With love, our Cecil, Cecil Hotel guest, come again. Hotel manager, Rebecca Cole. It's a strange shape. Interesting. No signal. Creepy. The eyes are missing. It's unusual, but this might prove useful later on. A very special thing to collect. Oh, it's kind of cute. This may come in handy. Toy robot collectible. Dr. Gene Zimmers. I wonder if he is behind all of this. There's skulls up there. Nice. Yeah. It's kind of cute. Like, let's be for real. It's kind of cute. Which apparently all she knows is how to ask for things. No sooner does she learn I'm making three hundred dollars extra by going on a lecture tour for Mr. Gold than she wants the first gold. Looks like some sort of voodoo doll. So what is the meaning of this? Only time will tell. Come in, Miss 
Looks like some sort of poisonous injection. <laughs> Those three question marks that just popped up on the screen? No, but same. That's fun. Fun little adventure. Interesting. You have nothing to say about that. You must remarry at once. I love that there's just like a sitcom playing on the radio. Oh, a wooden paintbrush is a tool used in art and crafting, typically for applying paint to a surface. The handle of the brush is made from sturdy, smooth wood, which provides a comfortable grip for the user. The bristles of the brush are made from natural fibers, such as horsehair or boar bristle, which are carefully arranged to create a tapered tip that holds paint and distributes it evenly. Do you think that this is the shape that's here? Times I did catch Clyder in the day, he seemed excited and happy about something. I think oh, so. Goodness. Oh well, I'll, I'll probably find out about it when I see him at your house. Okay. Mm, my thoughts exactly. <laughs> okay. What did that do? Oh, I'm so dumb. I'm so- I'm actually dumb. I don't want to talk about it. I didn't even see that the first time. Now, it's time to find Sarah. Let's find Sarah. Chapter 1, Uninvited Guest. Memory updated, explore the lobby. Hello? Is anybody in here? That's uncomfy for me. A key card for room two oh three. A popular priced hotel of distinction. And murder. Good evening, esteemed guests. Welcome to the Rio Cecil Hotel. We hope you are comfortable. We understand that the world outside can be a frightening place and that you've chosen to stay with us for a safe getaway. As you settle in, please remember to lock your doors and windows. Enjoy your stay at the Cecil Hotel. Ah, and 
remember, curiosity killed the cat, the cat, the cat, the cat. My good boy, he's sorry. I'm much more comfortable now that there's light. <laughs> there's nothing else I can get from over here, I'm assuming. Oh. Um. It's an old map that is tattered and worn, as if it has been through countless journeys before. The parchment damaged with age, showing 12 doors in a circular formation. As I examine the map more closely, I notice that certain doors have a strange question mark on them, almost as if they hold some sort of secret or hidden meaning. So our lobby map was now added to our inventory. Any packages? I was going to ask if there was a door over here. There is. Lovely. This is creepy. East. statue is holding something. A key. Odd. Oh, I can run. That's a thing I can do. Yeah. In the nicest way possible, obviously. What's this? Oh. Helpful. said that. Everything is missing a key. I am dead ass like the fucking worst at puzzle games but I still play them for the experience because then when I finally figure something out I'm either like oh my god I'm so smart or wow I'm such an idiot it's always one of the two <laughs> Can't open that one. Are there more vases? This gleaming golden key attached to a key ring grants you access to the hotel rooms area. Mm. 
so the rooms is the right of the so smart amber I think the uh, theme here is creepy decor. Welcome, John. Hi. What to do? It's fine. Um, it's our map. Pick up the phone. It's dead. Wait. Is there something else? I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, I didn't see this the first time. The receptionist appears to harbor some ominous secrets. I must unravel what lies beneath. I have to focus to read it. Okay. Okay, y'all. Let me focus. I have to focus to read it. It's no longer safe here. The lobby, once a refuge of warmth and welcome, now hosts an eerie silence that chills the bone. Shadows seem to move of their own accord, and the whispers? They're not just in my head. Are they? In fear for our guests and ourselves, I've taken it upon myself to secure the key that unlocks the hallway to the rooms. I can't risk it falling into the wrong hands. I've hidden it well, stowed away where only the most observant eyes will find it. I found it. Those are my eyes. I have observant eyes. Look at me. Look into my observant eyes. But I beg you, if you find this note, tread carefully. There is something terribly wrong with this place. It's as if the hotel itself is watching, waiting. John. How do I close it? it? Never mind, I did it. What I closed it. That? Spoopy. What does he want from me? Your soul. Hmm. Hotel renovation alert. Limited accessibility in some areas. Third floor. I still check every room, okay? First safe voice message. Hey there, it's me. I hope you're holding up okay. Listen, I've got something important to tell you. I, I stumbled upon a clue that might just be our ticket out of this nightmare. You know that painting, The Last Supper? Well, it turns out it holds a secret, but you'll need to shed some light on it. Make sure the light faces the painting, and you'll reveal a hidden path. Uh, follow that path, and who knows, it might just lead us to freedom. But here's the thing, Olivia. Dr. Zimmer's lurking around, always watching, always scheming. Keep your guard up, stay sharp, and, and don't let him catch you. We're in this together. We'll get through it. I believe in you. Stay safe, my friend. End of messages. Hmm. So the Last Supper. The clue is concealed within the Last Supper painting in the ballroom, which, when illuminated, is said to uncover a hidden secret. This may serve as our key to freedom. However, Olivia's whereabouts are currently unknown, and something quite peculiar is unfolding. But where is the ballroom?
old prescription bottle for pain. I wonder how often this was used. Well, now, that's a HIPAA violation. Mind your own business. A storage supply room? Oh. My room findings. Room 103 discovered a torn page from a ritual book with mysterious symbols. Room 202 found a locked drawer with a cryptic code etched on its surface. Room 301 uncovered a hidden compartment containing a partially burnt map and found a crowbar in a guest's bag. Room 402 found a bloodstained note hinting at a hidden passage. I didn't touch it. Yuck. Room 501 discovered... I can't say. I took the crowbar I found in the guest bag in room 301 to the supply room for safety purposes. <laughs> We shall see, John. We shall see. So I need the crowbar for this. I didn't like that one bit. We shall see, John. We shall see. Oh, she's turned around now. That's where we came from. I can use this to gain access to the safety box. Hmm. Find the emergency box. Do I have to? I guess I can't. I don't like that I can hear like water swishing. this to break down things in my way okay so I was expecting it to be like an actual box so it took me a second to correlate the fact that that's what I was talking about because <laughs> I'm a doofus took the crowbar I found in my guest bag in room 301 to a supply room for safety purposes. Yeah, these rooms are going to be locked anyway. So, check-in list, it's a really strange set of items. One, weird object. Two, blank. Three, crowbar. Four, note from suite 608. Five, bullets from 501. Six, lock box found at front desk. And seven, device missing four parts. Interesting. So, new objective is to head back to Olivia's room. You don't need to get in there, buddy. You just want to get in there. We don't need to do anything. Alright, so we're gonna go back to Olivia's room. And not get jump scared, right? Right? Oh, 
the other half of the photograph. Could this be Olivia? Literally, we are twins. Dear Diary, I don't even know where to begin. The last few months have been so dark, like I'm stuck at the bottom of a pit, and every time I try climbing out, I just sink lower. I feel like a shadow of myself. I miss James so much. Being apart from him physically hurts. I lie awake at night, replaying our last moments together before he shipped off. I'm terrified each day may be the one I get news he's gone forever. This war has ruined us. Working at the hotel is unbearable now. The manager is a bully who threatens to fire me if I say anything about the bizarre stuff happening around here lately. The guests are so rude and demanding too. I hate every minute wandering these halls now. It's like the life has been sucked out of this place. And get this. There's some creepy guy in glasses who keeps popping up wherever I'm working. He just stares and lurks in corners. It's the most unnerving thing. I don't know what he wants, but he's bad news. I can just feel it. Side note, he's constantly in the lobby sitting on the couch by the ballroom next to the picture of a young girl. This guy freaks me out. So, Lobby sitting on a couch by the ballroom next to the picture of a young girl. Hmm. Time capsule. A strange cloth. It seems it's from an unknown era. This may be useful. A time capsule. Personal service pistol added to equipment. These dog tags must have been close to Olivia's heart. Memento of a far away war. 9876. James's army number. Could this be her husband? I'm not done here. Oh. Pardon me, sir. Layout of the room area. Interesting. Kind of miss that music. The oh. ballroom seems to be a place of interest. I'd better head there now. So find the ballroom. So, but the ballroom seems to be... Not there. That's for sure. Is this all in my head? 
The Cecil Hotel has a reputation for darkness, John. Who the fuck are you? Good luck. <laughs> Holy shit. Let me just How run straight like into my that new one. creation, John. What the fuck is that? You are no match for my minions. Should I be concerned that I have no bullets left? What's in here? Oh, I can't go in there. Can I not just leave? No? Okay. Oh. Don't fuck me. Just what I need to get out of here. Not me with the eight health, though. Oh, it's a health injection. Cool. So, I would like to use one of these, please. Alright, so our new objective is to head to lobby. But we have a key as well. Was that all that was in there? Actually, let me go back and just make sure. Because I am a weirdo and check everything. We're good. Where does this put us at? What are those? My exact question. Okay, cool. So all of the other keys have had, like, single use, so I was a little concerned. <laughs> this is getting very creepy. We surpassed creepy. <laughs> really looking forward to going into the ballroom. John arrived with Sarah at the ominously looming Cecil Hotel, eager to explore its dark secrets and disturbing history. After settling into their dimly lit room, Sarah vanished without a trace, prompting John to frantically search every inch of the sinister hotel. He soon realized the Cecil was gripped by a malevolent presence, the twisted Dr. Zimmers, and his evil experiments on innocent souls. As John navigated the narrow halls adorned with unsettling portraits, he uncovered the tragic fates of those who came before him. In the room of the grieving house Keeper Olivia Quinn, John restored a cracked photograph that transported him back in time. He witnessed Olivia's kind innocence before it was corrupted by the sinister doctor. With guidance from his own childhood spirit, John performed cleansing rituals to help the tormented ghosts find peace. They offered clues about Dr. Zimmer's terrible deeds in return. Through unsettling clues and disturbing visions, John, pe John peeled back the layers of the Cecil's sordid history and the events that opened its doors to depraved forces. 
So that, my friends, was the Cecil The Journey Begins demo. And I'm super excited for the full game to come out. It is available to be wishlisted on Steam. I am also very excited to announce that I am now an official content creator for the game. I'm really excited to go on the journey that the Cecil takes us on. And thank you again to the devs for this opportunity. Until next time, I will see y'all later. Bye!